What's up guys, it's Enigma Hood. And I don't usually like to do two videos in one day, but things are happening so quickly. And uh, the news is uh, just coming out that the police actually captured uh, the second suspect. And you might hear in the background there's a little thunder and lightning going on. I'll try my best to ignore that, but hopefully the power doesn't go out. But even if it does, uh, I can still make this video. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, the second suspect has been captured, the younger brother. First brother, as most of you know, has already been killed. Second brother has been captured just recently, uh, ending the manhunt. Uh, but actually what I want to talk about um, is uh, this other video uh, made by the Young Turks about remarks that the uncle made, which were very interesting. But before I go, on, go into that, I want to touch upon some of the stuff that um, I said in the last video. Uh, I was saying how I was I was trying to make a point about um, racial stereotypes in America, and a lot of people uh, took that a little bit too literally when I was talking about it. Um, they were saying that the suspects are definitely definitely Muslim, and uh, that my facts were wrong. I never said that they weren't. I was trying to make a point about stereotypes and how stereotypes look like. You know, basically guys that look like me, hairy guys, brown guys. I thought that was pretty obvious. That was the whole point of what I was saying. Um, it wasn't confirmed at the time that they are Muslim. They might be Muslim. But whether or not they're actually religious or whether it has anything to do with what they did, I highly doubt it. There doesn't appear to be any kind of religious motive. So pointing that out, I mean, when we're talking about um, terrorism, religious extremism in regards to Islam, people have a certain stereotype. That was the point I was trying to make. And people were being pedantic over uh, whether they're Muslim or not. It really doesn't matter because it appears that they had no it had nothing to do with it. Okay, I'm the biggest anti-religious person I know. And if this had anything to do with religion, you know that I would say that. Okay, but it's pretty obvious to any sane person who isn't biased and who isn't a bigot that this has jack shit to do with Islam. And this leads into the Young Turks video. The uncle said some hilarious shit about these boys. When he was asked about um, why these boys did what they did, he was just kind of like, well, check it out and see for yourself. Did you ever know them to have any ill will towards the United States? No, no, no. I never knew it. Even if I had a guess or something, I would just submit them myself. What, 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 do, you think, what do you think provoked this? Um, being losers, hatred to those who's, who were able to settle themselves. These are the only reasons I can imagine of. Anything else, anything else to do with religion, with Islam, it's a fraud, it's a fake. I love that. I love that. That is, that's a great way of putting it. You know, the losers! Yeah, I mean, what else is the reason? He's saying that it really has nothing to do with Islam. It wasn't a political thing, necessarily. When we're talking about religion, politics, you know, intertwined. It had nothing to do with that, he's saying. He's just saying what I predicted to be the case. And this still might be up up for debate, but it was probably a case of lonely guy syndrome. They couldn't really acclimate to American society, and perhaps they became jealous or felt uh, animosity. And uh, the uncle was having none of that. He was having none of that. He was, he was very, very hostile, and uh, justifiably so, you know, because America took these people in and, you know, for them to feel this way, he, he felt indignant about it, you know, how can you, how can you treat Americans this way after what they, what they did for you, you know, giving you safe passage to America to live a better life and so on and so forth, that's how he felt about it. Um, but, uh, oh jeez. What do I want to say about uh, the Islam thing? You know, it really has nothing to do with it. I still, uh, I still feel that way. I mean, things could change. I mean, maybe the uncle is wrong or whatever. It's possible, okay? I'm not saying that everything that the uncle is saying is 100% concrete. I mean, it could still have something to do with Islam, but I fucking doubt it. Um, if it does, you know, I'll, 
I'll amend the video or whatever. I mean, you'll probably know anyway uh, when it comes out. But, you know, if I'm a betting man, and I'm not, but if I was, no. Nah. I don't think it had anything to do with it. Uh, the father made some remarks. He was saying, like, they're angels. First of all, the father, of course, is their father and uh, doesn't want to think the worst of them. He says, AP says, father of Boston bombing suspect says, son is accomplished medical student and a true angel. Mm, that's not the direction I would have gone. I mean, look, I know. He's the dad, right? But... Uh, it's not time to be talking about how he's a true angel. That was pretty fucked up. I mean, no matter what. I mean, it's like, yeah, you're his, you're their father, but you're going to call, like, some guys who killed three people and injured over 100 others angels, you know? That's a little bit on the fucked up side, if you ask me. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, post in the comment section, and uh, check out the Young Turks video uh, that uh, gives, puts a little bit more on... Uh, uh, what the what the uncle said and you know this guy I, I could listen to this guy for an hour. He's he's pretty hilarious. Anyway, this is Enigma Hood signing off.